Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I have tried three times to film this video and each time just something went wrong. Um, if you remember from my last video, I was nine months pregnant and I'm happy to say my baby boy is here. He's perfect, I love him. He's sleeping on me right now. So if you hear any weird little coos or snorts, it's, it's him, he's, he's cozied up, but I cannot set him down or else there will be tears. <laughs> so he's gonna hang out with us while we go through my planner and set up the week. Now, because I have been so busy, it's been very hard to find time to get into my planner. And also, it's hard to plan when you have a newborn baby to take care of because I'm on his schedule. He eats every three hours at minimum. He needs me all the time. So I have been just squeezing in what I can in between. Having him in this front carrier is amazing because he'll just sleep, but I am ready to get back into my planner and do a little something for me. So let's go ahead and head straight to this next week. Here we are. It is what the second week of May, third kind of because it was a half week the first couple of days. Hello, Pixie. Go on. See, this is what I'm saying. I can't, it's a struggle to film anything when you've got such a chaotic household. Okay, come on. No, no. We're off to a great start. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we are in my week. I've already gone through and I've highlighted the titles. But I'm also going to go ahead and use my dark gray highlighter to highlight the week we're on. It helps me visualize where we're at in the month and as the days are blending together, I need that visualization. Now I like to start by putting in any appointments or pre-scheduled events where I know I have to be there at a certain time. So we're going to start with that. And I have 1.30, a doctor's appointment. It is my six week checkup postpartum. Very exciting. I'm finally healed and feeling so much better. The only other thing is Thursday, I have cousins coming to visit and I'm gonna introduce them to my little man. I'm very excited about that. We don't have a time yet, but I'm gonna put it down just so that I remember. The next thing I want to do on this page, which is a little different, usually I use this open space to do a mini habit tracker, but let's be honest, <laughs> keeping habits right now is very hard. I have certain things I'm trying to do every day, but I'm being kind to myself and not holding any type of expectation. So one thing I do want to track though is my spending. Now there have been a lot of late night Amazon purchases as I'm taking care of my little dude and he's eating and I'm scrolling and the cart's been filling up, let's just say. <laughs> so I want to be a bit more mindful of that and I'm having myself write down my expenses so I can be a little bit more accountable for them because I am still on maternity leave. I need to be better with my budget. <laughs> so I'm going to add that in real quick. And I think I'll use this dark highlighter to just do like a simple line on the bottom here. I think I'll just do a couple dashes to represent where the dollar amount will go, just to make it look a little nicer. And then finally, I'm just gonna go in with my lighter highlighter and highlight these big events. This did come out a little messy, but I'm doing what I can with a baby strapped to me. So I will say that's good enough for me today. Moving on to my priorities and tasks for the week. I have a couple things that I have to get done. Well, number one priority is always taking care of my little dude. But a couple things I really want to get done this week are I want to take care of the recycling that has been building up on our patio. And I also want to update my journal because I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to write about 
my first couple weeks as a mom and little bub and all the fun things we've been doing. So I really want to sit down and have a really nice journal session. Maybe I'll even film it for you guys. If you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments below. But I want to have a nice journal moment. Uh, the last priority for this week is to start doing my yoga and stretching again. Because I have finally reached six weeks postpartum, I'm healed, I'm allowed to exercise again, and I really want to get back into stretching and working on getting a little bit closer to my pre-pregnancy body. Hello, kitten. <laughs> of course, I'm not rushing my fitness journey. I understand my body went through something crazy giving birth, but I really like exercising and just feeling strong and good. <laughs> and sitting around the last couple months has been really hard for me mentally because I'm not moving my body when I want to. So start yoga again is on that list. So that is it for my priorities. Now I'm just gonna really quickly go through and jot down all of my tasks and then I'll walk you guys through the final list. So these are my tasks for the week. I've got my cleaning stuff over here and then my just random tasks on the left side. I need to do some gardening. I need to buy fertilizer, a pot, some bell peppers, I am so excited for spring and so I have been on the patio doing some gardening and getting a lot more plants. I actually ordered a vertical green stock planter and I am stoked because it holds like 30 plants and I don't have a lot of space so that's beautiful. If you guys want a little patio tour, let me know because I'd be so happy to share all my little green babies. I also just need to do some laundry and call maintenance because there's a few things that have broken around the house. Pixie, she's all up in my business today. And then another thing I really need to get done is bleach my son's diapers. So we are doing a hybrid of cloth and disposable diapers at night, um, but some of his cloth diapers, I have some staining on it that I already noticed, which I want to get rid of. We live in an apartment and the washers are not the best. So I want to get that done. And otherwise I'm just taking care of my little dude. We're having tummy time and trying to stay on top of the everyday housework while juggling a baby, which leads me to my next little spiel is staying productive while you have a baby is really hard. And if you're somebody like me that likes lists and planning and scheduling, having that go away can be really difficult in the first few weeks. It was difficult for me because I went from having a plan of what I was going to do all day, even if it wasn't super rigid, I had structure and it was on my schedule. And then shifting to being on his schedule and not being able to get done and be productive 24 seven, it's hard, it's really hard. So I just wanna say if you are about to be a new mom or if you have kids, like it's okay <laughs> to not get everything done because I was being really hard on myself, but you just gotta roll with the punches. And this time in my life is about him and helping him grow and develop. And there'll be times for everything else later. We're getting on a better schedule now and I'm finding little pockets throughout the day to do what I want to do. But at the end of the day, I am so in love with my little guy and I'm so grateful that I get to hang out with him all day and take care of him and watch him grow. And he already is growing so much, which reminds me another thing, I need to go through his clothes. My little guy is only a month and a half old and he's already almost outgrown his three month clothes. He was born 10 pounds and he's already 13 pounds. He's already outgrowing his size one diapers and yeah, I'm talking about you. And he's getting real big real quick. So I'm grateful I get to be here to see that. And it's amazing being a mom. I've never been so in love and so happy, but it's also a big life change. So if you're going through something similar or you've got that coming up in your life, just be nice to yourself. It'll be okay. You'll get through it and you'll start finding more time for 
your hobbies and things like that but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think in the comment section below and feel free to like and subscribe for more planning journaling content and I'll see you next time bye Thank mm -hmm. you.